What's up everybody, it's me, Blake316, and it seems to be that time of year again where E3 is approaching. Last year I did my E3 2012 predictions, and I'm doing it again for 2013. If you're not familiar with the E3, it's basically the Electronic Entertainment Expo. It's the biggest three days of gaming throughout the whole year, when Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, and every other big developer basically announce their gaming titles come out, what consoles, and what their plans are for the future of this gaming generation. And in my opinion, E3 2013 is going to be by far the biggest E3 yet. Reason being, Xbox is supposed to be showing off their new console, Sony showing off the PS4, and Nintendo pretty much has to save their asses. Speaking of Nintendo, I'm going to say right now, Nintendo will win E3 2013. Only because I feel they have no other choice but to win. Granted, they're not holding a conference. They're still going to be there in presence. And they're going to show off some of their games. And I think there's been such a drought with the Nintendo Wii U. That any game that they show will be a good thing. But the thing is, I think they're going to announce all their blockbuster AAA titles. Such as Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Will probably most likely be announced at E3. And every Nintendo gamer. Not only Wii U gamer, but 3DS Nintendo Wii owner. Everybody wants a new Smash Brothers, and this game alone could win them E3 2013. But they'll probably end up announcing a 3D Mario, which I'm predicting them to call it Mario Universe. The only reason I'm going with that title is because the previous 3D Mario was Mario, was Mario Galaxy, so I think Mario Universe only sounds suitable. So that's my prediction for the new Mario game. But I'm also predicting. Obviously, Mario Kart, Mario Zelda. I'm predicting that Nintendo will pretty much announce and show footage of every single game that the public wants. I think Nintendo is giving it their all with this E3. And they honestly feel that they have to because Microsoft is about to announce their console. And so is Sony. So Nintendo is probably like, we need to get on our game. And they're announcing every game that the people want. I'm looking forward to Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, 3D Mario. I'm just waiting to see a uh, friggin' Zelda. I'm, they're probably going to show a Metroid, a Kirby. I'm telling you, I'm predicting Nintendo to go all out. Even though they're not having a press conference, they're going to be there in presence. And they're going to let people know what's up. But let's go to the Xbox press conference. This, in my opinion, might be people's most anticipated because right now I don't know a single person who's looking forward to the Xbox One. Everybody is hating on this console and wants nothing to do with the Xbox One to the point where people are already saying PS4 already run this console war when neither one of the systems even came out. But I honestly think Xbox is listening to all these forums, videos to the people and I really can't believe that they're just going to release a console that people don't like. I honestly feel that if they do show this Xbox, they're not going to give a release date. And if they do give a release date, I think because of all the negative feedback, they're going to push this thing probably to first quarter 2014. I honestly do not see this console coming out at the end of this holiday season. It's just too much negative feedback. And I don't think Microsoft is that dumb just to release a console that people don't like. I But once again, they might be stupid enough to say, hell no what, we're going to show them a bunch of games and go forth with it. Um, as for my predictions of what games they would show, I mean, obviously the fours that I've already announced, uh, Destiny, but I just don't see them really pushing forth this console. I really think... They're going to keep talking about it and not show many games. I don't think they're going to have any games really to show. I think they're just going to try to convince people that this is the console to get if they if they do plan on releasing it. Because I don't see it releasing at the end of this year. And also, Sony's having their press conference. And I can say with Sony, obviously they're going to show their PS4. They're going to be super confident. But my predictions with the PS4... The games that they're going to show, I believe, are just going to be a bunch of sequels of games that just came out on PS3. I honestly think they're going to show nothing new but like a Killzone, uh, Resistance, a new Infamous. They're going to show the same IPs. I 
highly doubt they're going to have a new IP to show with this PS4. That's my prediction. I think they're just going a safe route with it. And they're just going to show a bunch of old IPs and making new versions of it on the PS4. I think Sony's just going to play a safe route and assume that Nintendo's messing up. Uh, Xbox pretty much messed up. And they're like, you know what? I really just released a really powerful console and some good games. And that's it. People right now are going to go buy it. That's what I'm really predicting from PS4. But my major prediction of PS4, like I said, they're going to be releasing the same IPs. I think Sony is really just going to announce friggin' Uncharted 4, put it on the PS4, you know, Uncharted 4, PS4, it sounds so good together. I think they're going to announce Uncharted 4, and I think the game is going to look absolutely friggin' amazing, 100 times better than Uncharted 1 and 2 and 3, which is kind of hard to believe, but I think Uncharted 4 will look friggin' amazing, and that's all people are going to talk about, and that's all people are going to want. If, if Sony shows Uncharted 4 at this press conference, everyone will run out and buy a PS4, because it's the only thing they're going to talk about, and it's the only thing they're going to remember, because Uncharted has... has it's that type of game that can look that good and it can stay in people's memory and that's all they think about. But I don't think they will win the conference if they do this type of big announcement. I mean, I personally think Nintendo's going to win this press conference. I think I don't. I think Microsoft is going to keep trying to talk about the the uh, console, not really show too many games. I don't even think they're going to give a release date. I believe Sony will give a release date for PS4, show a bunch of beautiful games, and. They're just going to go the safe route. But I'm really looking forward to E3 this year because it's tons of new consoles and tons of new games, whether whether it's Nintendo, Microsoft, or PS4. It's just a bunch of whole new stuff that nobody really doesn't know what to expect. But these are my predictions of E3 2013. And if you want, feel free to leave a video response to let me know what your predictions are. But it's me, Blake316. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Facebook, as well as Twitter. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. And uh, stay tuned for my uh, thoughts and opinions on E3 when the conferences actually happen. Until next time, peace.